man, I was looking for you guys, but didn't expect you to be in my cabinet. Hey, I wanted to apologize ahead of time for this video you're about to watch. It's, it's kind of rough. It's a little glitchy. I don't know what it is. I, I must have some corrupted files on my SD cards or the editing software was just not being kind to me, but I come real close to just tossing it in a can and moving on to the next one, but it was some updates we wanted to share about the family as well as a destination we went to. So I piecemealed it together and I hope it's satisfying. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a travel day. We thought we would put out a closer to present day video, and depending on the editing, it may be a couple weeks behind. But closer than it is where we are present day in YouTube land back in February, well, end of February 1st of March. We thought we'd give an update on Brand's Alaska, Alaska adventure, as well as share a great RVing destination close to our home base. So it's the second week of August and Brandy came home from work last week in Alaska and so we thought we'd relocate our home to a relaxation location for a few days. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We appreciate you tagging along today. Just to give you a little background information, my beautiful wife Brandy, she is a nurse practitioner that accepted a contract position last fall to go work in Alaska. She started in January. She is currently on the west coast of Alaska in remote villages providing health care to their residents. These villages are anywhere from the population of 80 people to I think the most in the largest village there is probably around 450, maybe 500 people. There are several villages out there. She was initially hired to worked full-time in one particular village, but that has since changed. It has been trying at times, to say the least, and difficult transition for her because Brandy is a big planner, and it has been very inconsistent with her housing and communication and just the overall plan in general that she was initially proposed when she accepted the position. She was initially hired to work in one particular village and a house was gonna be provided, but she had to stock with all of her living essentials, shall we say. But that house never came to fruition. Uh, from the time that she started in January till currently the house is still unlivable. She has been essentially living in the clinic she has been working in for the last three months. She had to travel for the first couple months but it's been tiresome and just difficult for her out there in Alaska. This is her third trip home. She come home, barely made it home in March before the COVID-19 pandemic started and then returned in June for a few weeks and then this trip presently in August. So Brandy requested some lakeside views this rotation. So we're gonna finish breaking down the rig, get it all loaded up. And we're gonna head out to the lake, y'all. As we were hooking up, pulling around the dump, we got a delivery. A new bed. The one we got, we've had, we got from Mattress Insider. It's been great but it's time for a new one. Um, we ended up going with a, a Zenus, Zinus short queen. And so we're gonna take it with us and throw it in a rig tonight. Oh yeah.
is a Zinus 8 inch gel infused green tea mattress. Hopefully by tonight it'll be fully expanded. We can get in it or get on it. So good morning viewers. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are actually about an hour and a half or so away from our home base. Brandy, while she is home from Alaska this stint, wanted to spend a couple weekends up at the lake. Mm -hmm. I did. It's better than Alaska weather? And sunny. I mean, it's summer in Alaska, so our highs are 50s, 60s. On Saturday, we had 70. There's no air conditioning there, though, so it's really warm when there's She wanted some sunshine, so we made a couple of reservations. This is the first of two. We are staying at Bolding Mill. It's a Corps of Engineers campground on Lake Lanier, just uh, in Gainesville, Georgia. It's about, like I said, an hour and a half away from the home base. But we're heading back. We went out and got some breakfast this morning up in Dawsonville, and now we're heading back to the campground to dodge some rain and get in the water. and hang out at the lake. While we're here at Boulding Mill, we thought we'd let you guys know what this park has to offer. We created a campground information cheat sheet. Kind of lets us keep track of all the places we've been and what they have to offer so we know if we want to go back and if we do want to go back, what particular sites we want to stay in, etc. I'll overlay a copy here. As you can see, it gives you the cost the location, any contact information. Always include the dates that we stay there so we know what time of year, what kind of campground, it, what kind of, what type of campground it is, the amenities that that campground has to offer, any specific site details, general property conditions, what to do, what to do in the area just for fun, and any additional notes we wanted to make about that location. So that is our cheat sheet that kind of lets us grade the parks we stay at. So let's run through Bolding Mills information overview. Cost-wise, it is $24 a night during the week. You add an additional $10 a night for weekend nights. There are discounts available though for those that have a National Park Pass or served in the military. Veterans get a discount and you can stay as low as $12 a night to $18 a night, depending on the type of discount you have. It's located in Gainesville off of Chester T Road. Gainesville, Georgia is in Northern Georgia, and the campground is on beautiful, lovely Lake Sydney Lanier. Lake Lanier stretches over five counties in Northern Georgia. Boulding Mill is on the Northwest side of the lake. It's Corps of Engineer Park, it has 88 sites with water and electric hookups at each site. There are no sewer. However, there are two dump stations. One's located inside the park gates and one was located outside the park gates. Each of those dump stations has two dump sites within. So you can dump two rigs at one time. The amenities for Bolding Mill, there's a bath, uh, plenty of bathhouses scattered strategically throughout the park. Um, one of them does have laundry facilities. It has a washer and a dryer. They are 75 cents a piece, so that's not a bad price, especially for a Corps of Engineer Park. It's obviously on the lake. It's plenty of fishing, uh, boating, aquatic activities you can partake in. There are sports courts there at the park. There's a basketball goal, basketball goals and a volleyball area, but then there's plenty of field space for letting the kiddos and pups just run around. I forgot to mention or mark it on our information sheet that there are walking trails here at Bowling Mill. Me and Tater actually went on a walk. Walked out to the brand new fishing pier at the end of one of the points. Uh, down next to site 69 and 70, there is a walking trail out to a brand new fishing pier. Beautiful. Even if you're not going fishing, there's seating out at the end of the pier. You can sit and watch the sunrise, sunset. And bring the family along because there's more tables at the entrance to the pier if you wanted to go have a little picnic. 
Uh, there is a small playground over next to the beach area. The beach area, it is a concrete beach. It's kind of unique. Uh, there is a low grade slope into the water that makes the beach ADA accessible. So that was uh, pretty neat as far as allowing those with disabilities access into the lake. There's plenty of picnic pavilions scattered throughout the park. There are big rig friendly sites. There's dumpsters and we said the boating. So it's our specific site details. Site number 86 has water and electric, 30, 50, and a 20 amp. Connections are available. There was plenty of cell service there. We had uh, at the very least three and a half bars of LTE, which did allow us to stream TV. Uh, no Wi-Fi. Pets are welcome at the Corps of Engineer Park. Ours was a back-end site. The site itself is paved. The pad that the rig stays on was 40 feet, but our driveway was probably total, including the pad, up to 70 feet. We had plenty of room for uh, the truck and an additional vehicle. The patio is uh, that fine packed gravel was very spacious and large, included a table, picnic table, grill, and a fire ring. It was very quiet and it was pretty shady there. Also, as far as the site itself, it was very level. We didn't even have to use our Anderson levels um, there at the site. The property conditions excel. It was an excellent. The bathrooms are kind of dated. However, there was no impact in usage. They were clean, well-maintained. The Corps of Engineers has a paid staff that comes in and cleans and maintains all the sites, as well as... Um, the grounds throughout. There wasn't nothing there at the park that impacted any usage of the campsites and we didn't feel any dangers were lurking around. So the sites were easy accessible both inside and outside of the park. No um, troubles getting there or traveling throughout. Just for fun in the Bolding Mill area was plenty of like I said aquatic activities with boating and fishing and swimming. You're at the foothills of the North Georgia, of the mountains in North Georgia, the Blue Ridge Mountains. So they're just minutes away from those. You're about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on traffic, from downtown Atlanta. So you can go south to Atlanta or north to the, to the mountains. You are just minutes away from dining and shopping in abundance in Gainesville, Georgia. It's probably 10 minutes at the most from the park to all the big box stores and plenty of dining options. There are also RV dealerships in the area within 15 or 20 minutes in case you were to need something for your rig. Hey guys, we appreciate you hanging around for our overview of Boldy Mill Park. If you've got any ideas or suggestions or if I left something out that you're interested in, leave us a comment below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. Get updates on our travels throughout our RV lifestyle. We thank each and every one of you that have already subscribed and kept up with us over the last... Gosh, going on a year now. But as always, we wish everyone safe travels, especially throughout these crazy times of a pandemic. Remember to wash your hands, wear a mask, and remain socially distant. But hey, you can do that with an awesome view. Ooh. Quit sneaking up on me. What you doing in our refrigerator? No, y'all ain't eating all our groceries. Hey, we hope that y'all enjoyed that video and it wasn't too terrible. And y'all will consider coming back for another one in the future. I promise we'll get one out as soon as we can. Time for a water.